YouTube, what's up? 1992 Patro here, and here is an update on the 125 gallon planted aquarium. As you can see, all these plants right up front, they're growing tremendously well. I have had algae issues, and I'm still having minor algae issues with this tank, and unfortunately that is affecting the health of the plants a bit. But, I'm getting everything down. My first planted tank, so... Still working up the kinks. It's getting there. Alright, so right now in here what I've got is a gigantic school of Neon Tetra. I'll give you a rough idea. I, I think there's around 30, 34 of them. I'm not sure. There's a school of Z six type Zebra Daniels, I'm sorry. And a school of 10 uh, Bleeding Heart Tetras. Here is one of the Rose Line Sharks. Which is actually a barb, for those of you who do not know that. The second one just swam by. Very, very cool fish. And that right there is the only odd ball in the whole tank. It is just, it's a random cardinal tetra. There are also four killifish in this tank. I had to special order them online. Very, very hard to come by fish. And so is this guy right here, actually. You can just see him sitting way back there. He's really... He doesn't like to be seen. But... Oh, here he is. He, he got up front. For those of you who do not know who he is, that is a... Emperor Tetra. Very cool fish, and I can't wait to get more of him. Now, if you want me to list off all the plant names, I unfortunately cannot do that because I just, I don't know what they're called. I'm not that good with plants, but also, of course, one of the plants I bought had to have snails on it. So you could see them, you know, lots of breeding snails. They're not helping out at all. And yeah, you could see the algae growth on the leaves because, of course, the four Placostomus is in here. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> Inside of that big piece of driftwood is a bristlenose placostomus. Somewhere else in this tank is a female bristlenose placostomus. Underneath that rock right there is a snowflake placostomus. And somewhere in this mist of driftwood is a royal placostomus. And of course, you know, they are completely unable to eat this algae, just the algae off the glass in the bottom. And this has a fun little update, a uh, snake none of you have ever seen before. Uh, a little, little butter corn snake. Alright, so yeah, <clears throat> there you go, little update, as always in my videos, the cockatiels are making tons of noise, and also, something to look forward to, in that bin over there, is a new boa. Alright, 1992, signing off.